I actually couldn't even say the word cancer for three months. Wow. It was that of like, no, I didn't get sick. Yeah. But I did. And from that, it took me a while to realize that this was my message. Mm -hmm. This was my, the mess in the, in the story of yeah. how I can help other people. Welcome back to Talking with Terry TV. I'm your host, Terry Cardula, and our guest today shares her story of how she overcame the unthinkable to activate and reconnect her path to impact with her biohacking brilliance. Welcome, Don Thomas, to the show. Thank you, Terry. I'm so excited to have you here. So let's dive in. Let's tell tell us a little bit about your um, just a little bit about your um, background and kind of the importance. We were talking offline about the importance of our health, and we've talked about it on here before, um, of our health and our wealth, right? And how the two of those go together, right? Absolutely. If we don't have your health, you cannot make the wealth. Right. As an entrepreneur, our health is our key. It's the number yeah. one for our foundation. Yeah. And I think sometimes like we take that for granted. I know that I have in the past, and I'm getting better. Um, I'm still a work in progress, right? What would you say has been the, the one of the biggest challenges that we as entrepreneurs get ourselves in our way when it comes to this topic? I would say self-discipline, time, and awareness are the top three. Okay. Um, as a massage therapist, I've been a massage therapist for over 24 years, and my mom was a natural health practitioner. So having those two as in my past and my background has really helped me find the natural remedies. So in that process, I've kind of created a plan for myself that if I don't wake up every morning at by a certain time, it doesn't have to be at a certain time, but it's by a certain oh, time. Oh, good, okay. Then I know my day is off. Because when you work for yourself, you don't have a clock to punch. So That's we right. have to make our own clock. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then awareness, awareness. If we're not aware that I've had the same pain in my knee all week, and if we're not going to do anything about it, or uh, we were chatting about hot flashes, you know, but they continue, <laughs> that can, it's stress on the body. And if we don't yeah. take care of it right away, it can lead to other things. Yeah. And I, I want to pause you for a second because mm -hmm. I love, um, and I probably should probably pop it out of the, I have it over here. Um, but I love um, Louise Hay's work, right? And there's, since then, I've, I've learned some other authors that talk about the, the connection, right? And so, when we are noticing pain in our bodies, um, what are the things that we can do? And I just love asking the question, this is sound silly, but um, you, you'll appreciate this. <laughs> this is going a little woo, but I'll just close my eyes and I'll just, let's just say we have a pain in the knee. I'll just ask my body, like, what is it that you're trying to tell me mm -hmm. instead of refusing to hear? And it sounds silly, but if you give yourself the time um, to just like, quiet your mind for a moment, the body, like you'll get an awareness on it. And then it's like, okay, and so in Louise Hay's book, um, what is it called? Um, you Can Heal Your Body. Yeah, You Can Heal Your Body, thank you. And um, basically she said, you know, the, the things that are showing up in our lives, you know, metaphysically, energetically, spiritually, you know, the things that we've been refusing will, will show up in our bodies. And we, it's another way to access, clear, you know, restore our bodies in a really profound way, so. Another book I love is Secret Language of the Body yes. by Ina Siegel. I just, I just, that's my new favorite one. <laughs> I just yes. got it. Um, yeah. We'll have to take photos of it because I love it. Yeah. And because I love the messaging and the, like the, the um, what would you call it? The connection. The, the, the remedies, the, kind of like the remedies that she oh, gives, yeah. you know. And she does color therapy as yeah. well, which I absolutely yeah. love. I love it. And there's another one by, I think it's Lisa, Lisa Bordeaux. Don't quote me on that. But, mm -hmm. um. I like her book too. So between the three of those books, I like to reference that. Mm -hmm. And the brilliance of it is, is it's like, okay, the knee left may, maybe, and um, maybe representing, you know, moving forward, right? Taking steps forward, right? And flexibility. Like, okay, and flexibility, right? Yeah. And so you can say, okay, where in my life am I not taking steps forward? Or where am I in my life? Am I resisting this? And once you have that clarity, it is like the body goes, and uh, most often the pain, you know, you know, goes away. It's so powerful. 
my favorite for somebody, especially as a massage therapist, that come with neck pain. Mm -hmm. And if I've seen them two or three we times. We were just talking about this because <laughs> I was in the bathroom and I'm like, my neck, my neck. And okay, go ahead and tell me what your little strategy is on this. Well, my awareness part is yeah. who's a pain in your neck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> but the remedy for that is just a simple squeeze. So pretend like there's a pencil in okay. between your shoulder blades along your spine. Okay. And you're just gonna, it's an isolated movement, so you're just Can gonna you move that a little kidding. bit smaller. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. So you're just gonna move or squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze. not move your shoulders. So it's a squeeze, a squeeze. squeeze. Yeah, and so yeah. does that build up like the muscle? It does. Right what it does is it strengthens those muscles underneath the top layer. The, mm -hmm. They're called the erectors, which hold you straight. Mm -hmm. it, it strengthens those muscles that can support you and hold you upright. Am I doing it right? A little bit um, less here on the shoulder, so it's more squeezing, more isolated. Oh, on the back? Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's like a squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So while you're doing at the while stop you're at the light, stop light, sign. we spend five months of our of our lives oh, at the wow. stoplight, right? I'm just saying, opportunities yes. <laughs> are there. <laughs> okay, that that does make me like want to sit up straighter. Mm -hmm. And over time, does that like so does that work? If you're doing them more often, like do you, does that yes, help that to it, reduce? If you feel like there's a poker back there in the back yeah. of your shoulder sometimes in between your shoulder blade and uh, spine. Oh, interesting. That so how often, that muscle. how often should we be doing this and how many times? Squeeze, squeeze. If you're experiencing pain, I would do it often. Okay. And then when you kind of feel it coming back before okay. it gets really bad, just mm -hmm. keep doing it. Mm -hmm. It'll become like brushing your teeth. Yeah, okay. Everybody, yeah. everybody has these cute tricks and hacks that do while you're brushing your teeth. Like oh, stand yeah. on one leg to help you with your balance. So, and so like, we're going to be standing on I one leg, squeeze standing on one leg, squeezing. I like, to, um, I like to do some energy work so we can just like yeah. just keep adding it on. There you go. Like the two minutes. We're collapsing time in two minutes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we've been talking about pain, but obviously like a lot of people, including uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, obviously carry stress in the shoulders. Um, that's probably... For me, that's what I've, I've seen. You're a massage therapist in your past background. Like, is that where you see most stress? Or is that, where else do you see stress in the body for people? I'd say 90% is the um, head, neck, and shoulders. A small percentage do hold it in their stomachs, mm -hmm. which, um, you know, the gut health is huge right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you can concentrate on relaxing that with so breathing. We oh, okay. Breathing earlier. Is that the hack for that? Is yes. So um, I do the one, two, three in, hold one, two, three, out one, two, three, and then hold one, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> kind of like the box breathing. Is that yes, considered the box exactly. breathing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that we can be, as far as pain, because I know we were talking offline about uh, metapause as well as perimetopausal, like <laughs> just for my own personal knowledge, <laughs> I need some hacks because I'll be honest, I was a sleep insomniac for decades, honestly, until I was in my early um, to mid 20s. I was a chronic sleepwalker, a chronic sleep talker. Um, all the scars that are on my face are actually from sleepwalking. I have lots of adventures um, in my sleepwalking stories. That's for another time. And, um, and so I just, I honestly thought that's how you slept, right? And so it wasn't until my mid twenties. And actually, when I was going through um, my counseling background, and we were doing, we were talking about insomnia, and I was like, oh my gosh, like a huge insomniac. Mm -hmm. I was getting up from anywhere from five to thirteen times a night. Mm -hmm. So how you remember your day is how I remembered my night. I went and did this. Da -da 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 -da. I never really slept, and so. I went to my doctor and long story short, she was able to finally, we found a solution um, and we had to go to like, to the nth degree, right? Um, and so she put me on trazodone because the, the, the side effects to trazodone, which is an antidepressant, is sleep. Oh, wow. And she put me on a half of the dose and she, she gave it to me. I went and that night fell asleep and I woke up and I'm like, I called the doctor in panic and I'm like, I don't know what you gave me. It's not working. There's something really wrong with this. And she's like, well, what happened? I'm like, well, I went to bed and then I woke up. <laughs> and she's like, and I'm like, there's something wrong. Like, that's not, this is not normal. Like this, what is this? 
I actually had never slept in my life, like really wow. truly had the experience of sleep. And so it was freaking me out. And she goes, that's called sleep. And I'm like, I kind of like this. So yeah. having said that, I have been an awesome sleeper right. up until just recently. And so we've been having negotiations with my body that hot flashes mm -hmm. at night are not okay. No. So do you have, by chance, I know we're putting you on the spot, but do you have any hot flash Hacks. Hacks or support. My go-to is essential oils. I love essential oils. Oh, yes. Oils. Yes, so yes, yes. Clary love. Sage. Okay. There's I do a, not have this. I need to get this. There's a blend called Clary Calm. It's a roll-on. You can okay. roll it right on your okay. abdomen area. I do uh, clockwise circles on my belly. Okay. Right on your belly button. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you will. And, or just put it in your hand to smell. Yes. Because it's an it. instant brain. Oh, I love it. Calm your brain down. Calm your body down. Okay. Can you do that before you go to bed? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So another thing that's helpful for sleep is um, it has essential oils in it. It's called Serenity Balm. Oh. I'm actually going to gift this to you. Oh, lovely. thank you. You're so welcome. Because I was just talking about my sleep. Oh my gosh, I really want to. <laughs> so I write. We can put it on right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, but I can't. can't. I can't. I can't. Tonight. Tonight right tonight, here. Though. I usually rub it on my wrist because when you're sleeping, oh, yeah. if you're a side sleeper, you're going to get the smell here or your chest. Oh, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so both wrists. Yeah. And then we're, and then the chest. Yeah. Oh, it smells. I wish we had smell of vision. This smells the so good. The bottom of the feet is an amazing place to put essential oils as well oh, because yeah. there's 2,000 pores in each foot. Wow. Okay. That's why you don't go barefoot in the locker rooms. <laughs> oh, I. Da, 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 da. I yeah. never knew that, but that's why. Fun fact, I'm really fun at a party. <laughs> I bet you are. I bet you are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm actually gonna I'm gonna use this Good. and I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video on yeah, my you know, experience of this. Well speaking of such oils, and mm -hmm. I have to tell you this funny story. Yesterday I was I was at this event and this lady she's she started to work with me and I she asked about something and I go, Oh, Oh, she had a headache. And I was like, oh, she's like, do you have aspirin? I'm like, I don't, but I, I, I have my essential oils. And she's like, what do you, she's like, what's that woo-woo stuff? <laughs> so of course I brought out, and this is what I carry with me all the time. And I love it. Um, and you know what it is because you know what it is, but um, it's this little like little carrying case that have all these different such, essential oils. So I made a little concoction for her, for her headache. Awesome. But she was like, what's this woo-woo stuff? I'm, I don't think it's woo-woo. Like I get that. I don't know. Like, what are your thoughts? Oh, Doctora actually means plants of the earth. Yes. So I yes. started explaining to her, like, what what does all mean? So can you explain um, for folks that think this is woo woo? <laughs> so it's just because um, essential oils are fantastic. They are, and they were put here on earth for us to use. And so when we gather, I'm going to give you fragrance scents as an example. So we take the resin from the tree off mm -hmm. the bark. Mm -hmm. and um, then compress it down to the oil. For sure. With other oils like lemon, we use the rind. For sure. And then other oils like orange, we take the stems and the barks and the roots and the leaves and all of that yeah. rind uh -huh. and make the oil. For sure. And jasmine, it's the petals. For sure. So some oils are more expensive than others because like rose is mm -hmm. considered the crown jewel of yeah. essential oils because it takes so many petals to make yeah. just a teeny tiny bottle so yes but uh, and i think and i think if, I, I feel like vanilla is, is kind of mm -hmm. high up mm -hmm. i was like thinking of the ones that i buy but well here's the thing is like how i incorporate these into my business right is you know if i have something coming up or if i like I, whatever whether i'm vacationing or whatever if i have a headache if i we were on vacation the other day and we were um my daughter got a sunburn and I didn't have like any like aloe vera or anything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what can I concoct and like, you know, support yeah. that, that sunburn. Right. And so, but I, whether I'm at work or wherever, like I'm always using, I use essential oils every day and sometimes multiple times a day. So I concoct some <laughs> different concretions. I, Dr. My, Terry. I know. And, oh my gosh. I, I have my, I have my favorite one. I have to show it to you, um, is abundance. And mm -hmm. I just love it. It smells so good. I think I've, um, shared it with my staff here. Um, but I just love it. But, you can use these and they can help with focus, concentration. Like what are some other things that we can use essential oils for? Um, uplifting. Yeah. So um, that's actually how I got introduced to them was in the middle of my divorce. So I use, it was called Citrus Bliss. 
and balance. They're two blends that help uplift me and ground me. Cause so I wasn't like in fight or flight all the time. Mm -hmm. So, um, while they can be calming, they can be uplifting too. And that's why I love essential oils is because they're so great for the emotions. Yeah. Too, so I love it. And any timing question, I always Google it and I'm like, okay, what can, what do I have okay. and what can work? And sometimes it's not, they'll say, you know, the top five that's best for this, you know? So if I have a third one, I'll use the third one and usually, you know, combine it with something else, but I love it. And it's like my little own medicine cabinet, Correct. which is healthy and organic and you know, I feel like it's doing good for my body, right? Absolutely. So I love it. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with some more biohacking tips from Dawn. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Is fear holding your business back from creating a bigger impact? If so, it is time to break free from those limitations so that you can step into your power, your purpose, and your potency. Come join us at Breaking Beyond so that we can move from surviving to thriving. I think it's a really cool event. I love when anything is empowering other women to do great things with themselves. Breaking Beyond the Six Figure Barrier, How to Cultivate a Millionaire Mindset. Friday, April 19th at the Comedy Work DTC Landmark. Be a part of a community of entrepreneurs who are elevating their business to financial freedom. Learn the secrets of their success and make them your own. I'm taking away that there's inspiration and there is a sisterhood in recognizing the power of self, the power of loving yourself, of, of having hope for the future. I can't wait to see you on April 19th at Breaking Beyond. Join us, click the link and get started today. Welcome back to Talking with Terry TV and our guest today, Don Thomas is here talking about biohacking. Now, okay, I feel like all of us, when we're on our like path to impact, like we have had to overcome our own stuff in order to help create. So I'm curious, <laughs> you're in the health and wellness, you're in talking about taking self-care and all this. What, what influenced you or what maybe inspired you to take this path? This would fall under our dirty little pieces. Oh, oh what's, what's the dirty little pieces? <laughs> of ourselves. So yeah. my dirty little pieces are that I was so busy taking care of everybody else, I forgot to take care of myself. Mm. And therefore, um, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Mm -hmm. And that threw me for a loop. I actually thought I was going through menopause. And she's like, no, you're going to have this instead. So wow. I just... Um, it threw me for a loop because I was juicing, I was doing all the right things and eating clean and moving my body and being outside and here I got sick. Yeah. And, you know, I did slide down a little bit and... With any diagnosis, I yeah. think that's normal, natural. I mean, you're going through, you know, the, the phases of denial, you're going through, right. yeah, all of that. I actually couldn't even say the word cancer for three months. Wow. It was that of like, no, I didn't get sick. Yeah. But I did. And from that, it took me a while to realize that this was my message. Mm -hmm. This was my, the mess in the, in the story of yeah. how I can help other people. Yeah. And um, so from that, I've gathered um, some tips and tricks that, um, and hacks that, and I just had a big birthday. So now it's Yay. all about, and Yay. you know, the grandkids coming up yeah. and how I can still walk and talk and function and remember them and st be vital for yeah. them. Yeah. Well, your message is all about longevity mm -hmm. and honey and making the most quality. Of that. Yeah. And quality, your quality of life. Mm -hmm. I love this. So tell us um, what has been, we were talking about some of the challenges to overcome, right? But what are some other like bio hacks besides like, we talked about the essential oils, uh, you, you're a massage therapist, mm -hmm. obviously that's key, especially for entrepreneurs. I can't stress mm -hmm. that enough. Like if I am not, if I miss my massage, I know, like, <laughs> I know. Uh. Let's, um, let's unpack this. Like what, what is biohacking? Biohacking, bio is biology. Hacking is, you're going to go around the barn to do it the quickly. Yes. I love and, it. Cause I'm all um, about, it's all about so biology is our body. So yeah. how can we fix it quickly? But my whole thing is naturally. Yes. Love this. Because you don't want the toxins and the dyes and the sugars and all that in your body. So there's a couple things I use right now. And uh, one is I've been trying secretly, because you can do that in the shower, is to turn your 
water colder. Yes. Because the cold plunges, you know, while I don't enjoy cold water fast, for sure, um, it is healthy for us because what yeah. that does is it's an anti-inflammatory. Yes. So like, so when you injure yourself, you always put an ice pack on it, right? Yeah. So that's doing that for a whole body. Yes. So yeah. I started practicing. I, I can only do about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, and I, But I will, at the end of my showers, I will turn it cold. Yep. Um, and I will stay there. Um, I have worked up to like a minute before. But it is like after a while, you're like. They say yeah. three. Yeah. Oh, they three so minutes. Okay, three. I can work. I yep. can work towards three. Three as towards... doable. Yeah. I really think it I can think do I almost prefer the cold plunge, though, honestly. But to sit in heaven. I know. I'm not I know. there yet. I know. I just got to figure out like where we'd store it. I, I, yeah. I kind of, I, I kind of want to play with it. I'd love to hear from you if you have done cold plunges. Like, yeah. what's the best devices to use? Because I was just going to buy one, but my girlfriend was like. There's ones that you have to like change out the water all the mm -hmm. time. And I'm sorry, like I'm an efficiency person and that just seems mm -hmm. like too much work. So I want it to be easy for right. me to utilize it. So I would love to hear from you. What are your favorite pl ice yes. plunges? Cause I wanna, I wanna know, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with this. That's why I say yeah. start with your shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I have done it in the shower, but it's, it's totally a, a game changer. Mm -hmm. You it do is. get like, yeah. Another biohack is eliminate processed foods. Mm -hmm at all. I know everybody's been hearing that for a while, but it yeah. is true. I it, think that's tough. A few. I think that's tough. And convenience. We're a convenience culture yeah. right now. And if we can get away from that, and we've dedicated Sundays to meal prepping. Yeah. Yeah. And it does not take long. Yeah. It's long, it's grocery shopping. But once you get it all done, and you plan it out, and yes, you know, we have our five meals, but it's not like we're having this on Monday or whatever. You can be creative and yeah. go, oh, what are we going to have today? Yeah. But it's true. ready and it's there for you and it's healthy. Yeah, that's a great. I'd love to hear more about that too. Because um, I was just telling Mary earlier today, we were taking a little break and um, I was telling her that when we grew up, I mean, our um, garden, like our vegetable mm -hmm. garden was huge. Mm -hmm. It was like the size of our, you know, over at where we have chart services, like three times that size. So it's huge. And then we had a potato garden, which was like twice the size of that room. And we would just be, as kids, we'd play, we'd come in for dinner or lunch, you know, and dinner, but we would graze and snack mm -hmm. all. I mean, we had berries. So I was in the berry bag. We had, we had fruits and vegetables. And I mean, we just, we had pocket knives and we would just, we would just eat and it was just yeah. like, I, I kind of forgot about that for the longest time. But I was like, oh my gosh, like we used to just graze on, I mean, it was way healthier mm -hmm. than what we, we do now. And the last thing I do are these patches. They are light therapy patches. These are so fascinating. She just sent me some samples. So yeah. I'm like, help us understand this. And can we, do you have some here that mm -hmm. we can show? Yeah, do you want to put one on? <gasps> I thought Thank you would never you. ask. <laughs> Where do I put this one? Which one is this? this that is one is the Aeon. Okay. That is for anti-inflammatory in a calm response. <laughs> where, <laughs> I where, can, yeah, where can I put it? Where can I, where's the spots I can put it on? Um, your belly button, the back of your neck at C7. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to yeah, do Your hand. Okay, here. I'm going to put it on my back. You can actually put it right here. Oh, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yep. So tell us about these patches as I'm demonstrating. They are non-transdermal. So okay. nothing is going to go into your skin. Okay. And what they are are amino acids, salt crystals, and they reflect your own light. So the best way I can describe it is, do you remember watching movies with the night vision goggles and we see the little red things moving? Yeah. And through that, uh -huh. that's our light. Yes, it's a heat signature, but our light comes out in that because we are um, energy beings. Okay, I'm putting these, right. putting these on Good here. job. So now, so this light mm -hmm, that comes out of our body okay. hits the patch and goes back into our body. Fascinating. And okay. this patch has 11 patents on it alone, this X39. Wow. Okay. And it is stem cell regeneration. So stem cell, and that's a big, that's it's a big buzzword. I mean, the last like couple years, right? People stem go to Mexico like... and harvest their own or buy them. If, they, if they're super sick, they'll buy yeah. somebody else's stem cells. And it's thousands of dollars, like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get stem cells injected into your body. Wow. And you know, those rock stars that are 70, they're still rocking it. That's yeah. what they're doing is stem cell regeneration. Wow. And um, 
this is so painless. Okay, so then, so you're on these patches, um, and what do these, like what will, what will a person notice when they're on these patches? Um, it depends. So I have a girlfriend that uh, has fibromyalgia, <laughs> and she noticed a difference within an hour. hour. Wow. Okay. She, it felt and that's like, like, the, like the, I feel like it's the undetected, untreated, yes. over, like misunderstood diagnosis, right? Mm -hmm. And she, um, when I saw her next, she actually texted me, oh my gosh, it's been 52 minutes and I, I don't have any pain. Wow. I didn't have to take a Tylenol. And my, my eyes started to well up because I'm like, her liver is going, thank you. <laughs> right? Well, that's such a great point. Yeah. Especially with these chronic pains. She takes two Tylenol in the morning and two at night. Yeah. And now she doesn't take any Tylenol. And actually, she was just, she's been on the patches for two months. She was just at a rheumatologist appointment yesterday and they took her off three medications. Wow. I know, I'm so... I, mean, I want more light. In my, so, it depends. My light. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm right here, oh I got gosh, you. I, I love this, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's, okay, so any other like things that people, and how... So it's hard to re yeah. recommend when you're gonna feel something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, because I was, you know, eating cleaner and things, the first thing I noticed was my wound healing. So I was at a beach in Florida mm -hmm. in, a while ago and I got sand flea bites. Oh, and I didn't know I got the sand flea bites until we got home and in bed. I didn't know that we were supposed to wash off. I know what to do here in the mountains, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stretch, you drink water, you do all the things. But yes. in Florida, I didn't know we were supposed to rinse off after the beach. So oh, we just jumped to bed and all of a sudden my legs started itching and it looked like somebody poured, I don't know what, I, it would, they just itched and it was like you could play dot to dot. Oh no. But, and then I went to the dermatologist to say, what do you got for me? She goes, here, she gave me a topical cream, which helped, but she goes, that's gonna take a year to heal. Cause they were some, I got like an allergic reaction to and they were welts. Wow. And they're oh, almost gosh. all gone. Wow. That is full months. Wow. That's super mm -hmm. fascinating, okay. And my hair is starting to go back to gray instead of white, isn't that great? Oh my gosh. Well, the body is a beautiful mechanism, yeah. right? Like Those are the, the two things I've noticed. And my yeah. nails used to grow up at the end mm -hmm. and now they go straight. Fascinating stuff. I love this. So, but other people, the pain thing is the big, yeah, the biggest. Deal. Yeah. I love this. Can you use these with hot flashes? Well, I, I would be. For a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see if that worked. That would be fascinating. Oh, I'll be your get a keg. <laughs> I would love that because when um, some of the chats I'm on and forums mm -hmm. for this to, so I can help other people, mm -hmm. I continue to learn yeah. is um, like blood pressure and um, mm, not supposed That's to say okay. diseases. So um, low energy, limited mobility, things like that okay. um, have really come back. People who wow. couldn't walk are walking now. Wow. And um, I'm just I glad it. I got a hold of it and I can share with everyone. I love so it. Cool. This is br brilliant. So I hope you've gotten some amazing tips from um, Dawn. All these different biohacking things. And I love the fact that it comes from a natural state. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope that that's the wave of the future now. We're going to hopefully <laughs> learn from our mistakes and then kind of go back to more of the health or you know, natural, healthier ways of, you know, healing your bodies. Mm -hmm. Where can people connect with you or find out or grab their light patches? I'm gonna call them light patches. For Perfect. Light wave, yeah. But light patches. <laughs> On the box, it's Hit me up. Give me some yeah. patches. <laughs> Give me some light. <laughs> light is, is very healing. Yeah. Because um, when we're born, we are light. And to reignite that is just amazing. I love it. So my website, dawnmthomas.com. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Dawn, so much for your brilliance you. and everything that you've shared. And as always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be the magic of you. Massive love to all of you. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell to find out about my upcoming shows. Thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you next time.